my channel. My name is Jamie Johnson and this is Let's Talk About It. Today I'm going to talk about two subscriptions that one I forgot to cancel last month and one I wanted to try out for the month. Now if you've been following my channel you know that I'm not a big fan of the monthly subscription because I, I just like can't deal with samples. They like a bunch of like samples laying around knowing that I can't get a full length use out of it uh, to enjoy uh, kind of gives me an anxiety. I'm going to explain why in these two subscriptions I got which is my Sephora Play which I thought I canceled last month. I guess I didn't and it came but that's okay because I wanted to tell you guys why I just don't think that these are worth our money guys like $10 for Etsy and this. Uh, to rich people or people that have a lot of money, uh, $10, $20 a month, eh, you could probably pick that up and change on your car floor. Me, I sell things on eBay and I turn them over and eBay is a place where you can get things for cheaper. So I can't really get a lot of money for my stuff and I'm not going to rob people either. I want to make it affordable for people to buy my stuff. So I go by the rules and I charge what I'm supposed to and you can't get that much. So. $20 to me is a lot of money, so I want to invest my money back into the subscription society. That's my whole reason for starting my eBay store is strictly for subscriptions. Uh, I love getting them. I like the subscription box lifestyle. I like not going into a store anymore. I like the friends I've made through this community thing. Uh, I've learned a lot from the women on these websites. They're all a delight. Nobody's like really super mean, and if they are, it's because places like this are ripping us off. They are ripping us off. So let's start with Sephora. Okay. Sephora Play is $10 a month. Uh, I don't even know if there's a tax. I feel like there was like, it was like $10.63. Anyways, comes in a bag. Now, number one gripe, I don't need these little bags. So right away, they took like a product away from us with this bag because they have to pay for this bag. This bag is fairly okay I mean it's cloth they um, don't need to give this bag a uh, boxy chime I believe doesn't give any bag right they just give a box I want to build my makeup collection I'm a quarterly subscription girl and you do get some makeup in there but you don't get a lot because it's a lifestyle box it's not just makeup so now I want to invest in a monthly makeup one because I also want to do an unboxing for you um, through the month too. I don't want to wait quarterly to give you a video so because I enjoy doing these so um, I'm on the hunt for the best monthly beauty subscription box that's going to add to my collection and not give me a bunch of little samples hanging all over my house that I'll never, I'll be honest, I'll never use. Okay, enough of me rambling. The first thing is a the Pore Professional Pore Primer by Benefit. I think it's by Benefit, yeah. I love primer. I think it's the best thing. You put it on, it goes on like a cream and then it ends up like I think one, somebody on YouTube explained it as a like powder finish and that's exactly what it feels like. It's so cool but I can't handle this. This gives me anxiety. This little thing, it, it makes me anxious because I know I only have a little bit of, you know, enjoyment. I do like the product. I used it today before the video. Went on smooth. It's really good. These uh, Sephora Play and Ipsy places will tell you that they're that's what they're for, for you to like figure out what, what you want so you don't have to go buy a big one. I understand that. Don't charge $10 for something that you get for free. You know that these companies send Sephora these samples. They're making a killing off of these little boxes. Um, that's just stuff that they give away. I, on eBay, do a beauty box. I would never give this for $10. I give um, good items from my store that I'm already selling on eBay. I go on there and I pick things out to what I think the person will like and when I get to $10, I stop and I mail it. There are some good items um, in mine. I would never do this. This would never be one of the items. Like a, I'll throw in something like this, but that wouldn't be one of my items. Like. These boxes are sad, and you know big industries like this can afford to do better for you for $10 a month. I'm sorry. So, all right, another rant. Um, so the next thing is Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This is awesome, too. This thing is awesome. I tried it. I love dry shampoo. I don't like to wash my hair every day. It's very thin, so I don't need to. So I do one good washing. I blow it out, 
and um, for a couple days after that I'll dry shampoo it and it's like by the third day it's really what I like. I don't really do anything that will make my hair like you know like grossy smell. I don't smoke and I don't work in a restaurant or I'm not going out to eat a lot or um, you know so my hair doesn't like stink of stuff like that so I can kind of get away with it. But um, this stuff was really good. It's by Dry Bar. I see Dry Bar a lot on um, my Instagram. The next thing in here is a mask. Oh, by the way, can I let you guys know on my profiles, because I do get a lot of skincare through my quarterly subscription boxes that I don't need skincare, uh, I put all makeup and I said I didn't want any skincare or hair care. Uh, and this is mostly what I'm getting in both of them my Ipsy and my Sephora so it's, if it, I know I know other people are having this issue with them not going by their profile this is another reason why they're stealing your money they're making you waste your time with a profile that they don't even bother following because I don't need skincare this is a Sephora mud mask purifying and mat mattifying I love masks I do masks with my husband all the time we do like three or four different ones a week I just I'm addicted to anything that's uh, facial uh, care skin care um, so I will be using this. I'm not trying to be like haters on these little um, trial subscription boxes. I'm just trying to say lower your price. Make it five bucks so we can get two for ten. And ten dollars I could probably find and change in my car. But I can't, twenty dollars I can't justify me, um, a non-rich person, spending twenty dollars a month on things like this. Like, it's just not, um... A realistic thing to do for the hard-working mom I'm selling things to fund my passion which is unboxings and um, I decided not to waste any money on these little guys anymore uh, next I got this Marc Jacobs little mascara okay a couple of things with mascara lately um, everybody but me is doing false lashes so nobody needs this anymore so this is why we're getting so many of them and to get a little one like this makes me mad because that's even more useless to them and you know it but uh, the thing about this is uh, I'm going to shout out a youtuber that I watch her name is Jen Loves Reviews uh, loves L-U-V-S Jen J-E-N and check her out she is professional she is how a youtuber should be uh, she tells you the truth she don't care if she gets stuff for free she'll cancel stuff if things are not um, what they're saying they are and she'll call you out she's very intelligent well she taught me these little samples of mascara have more bacteria in them than toilet bowls public toilet bowls so I'm not using this and I'm not even going to give this away in my subscription box because I'm creeped out by that review. Watch it. I'm not going to even bother using that so that to me is gross. Next is uh, probably the only thing I'm really truly excited about because I can get a decent use out of this is the uh, Tattoo Liner um, Waterproof Liquid Liner. Now um, I'm so pumped that I got one of these even if it's a little one only because I'm learning because I'm old school 1990s like listening to R. Kelly and Shy why I put my makeup on before a school dance with my like shell toed adidas I don't know that was me and we used eyeliner and eyeliner went right over um, eyeshadow easy today no I like scratched my eyeball out the other day trying to put on my eyeliner um, and uh, I didn't understand what was going on and I was like oh it's my eyeshadow but I thought you know the whole process is eyeshadow then eyeliner so I'm like eh. so I'm realizing that maybe the eyeshadows today are the recipes they make them like really hard for the um, the old school pencils like I just still get the ones I used to get when I was younger like I just I'm comfortable that way I walk into CVS I'd buy a pencil pencil can last me like 10 years because I don't put makeup on every day so I still had them and they're not working so they're garbage to me now with my new shadows because I get a shadow palette in every single box I get so I was all of a sudden realizing I need eyeliner so I used it today I I'm trying to show you. I don't think I did very bad for my first time. I thought I was going to be shaky and suck, but these things are designed to do good, so this is a good brand. I think I'm going to try to order this one. So, I mean, again, these places are going to tell you this is what this is for to figure things out. I agree. Put your price down to five bucks. Make it affordable. $10 is a lot today. 
So um, that's my Sephora box. Oh, they come with a free um, uh, department store, black opium department store perfume. I don't wear these uh, at all. I don't even smell it. It could smell like heaven. Uh, I don't like department store like Macy's. I like um, Demita. Uh, it's things that will fade eventually and not be so like pungent uh, throughout the day. I don't need to be like smelling. I like to uh, my own pheromones. Uh, that's like a hippie thing to say, but I, I do. I like my own pheromones. And Demita allows my own pheromones to make my own beautiful, sweet scent with whatever I put on. If you haven't tried Demita, try it if they're from New York. So next is my Ipsy. Mind you, with these two things, I've already canceled them, so I'm no longer getting them. I'm just showing you these for this and telling you why you should not do these anymore or demand lesser money, have them go down, because they're making money no matter what, because all this stuff is for free. The first thing in my Ipsy I seen was two of these. It's a mask. I'm always into a mask, even if it's just putting moisture into my face for 20 minutes, so I'm happy about the masks. Again, a bag there they could give us like maybe one or two more products instead of stupid bags like I understand giving you one every now and then to put all the stuff that you get from them over the months but we don't need one every month Ipsy's better than Sephora I'll tell you that much right now there's way more I can use I was a little more happier with this bag but again I canceled it because um, I want to invest my money into one box that's maybe twenty dollars and worth it you know that's the point of uh, this video I got a brush uh, this is why I joined here because they say you always give you a brush and my first brush was awesome it's got two little diamonds in it you see and it's got this uh, you know trendy unicorn um, colors to it and it's a beautiful brush for me to put on uh, just the you know the go over the lid. Um, this is what I was lacking in my collection I'm, All of them are really big and this was really cool. So I'm very happy with this next thing is nail polish a pink one Just right up my alley uh, regular size uh, Really pretty it's pink and it says gel effect uh, And it says organic then inf organic infused Another thing I have no idea what that means organic infused Ipsy just like totally blew Sephora out of the water. Next I got a hair mask. On this I put strictly makeup and no hair care and no face care. I got the mask but I'm happy uh, with the mask. I love getting masks but um, my face mask I don't need it. I got so many of these. This is going to go in my woman's beauty box that I do on my eBay. This is awesome. I, would, I didn't even know it existed. I'm happy I got it. It's a trial size of a blurring stick. I would have loved having these when I was younger. Um, I was always wanting to shine away. I always carried a compact with the foundation that had like a lighter shade just to get that off of me in high school. I would have adored this. Um, when you put this on, it makes you look like you have like a filter on like in real life. So it's cool. So if you're watching this and you enjoy getting these and you can afford it, my verdict is uh, Ipsy. Ipsy is the better one if you're going to go with any for $10 a month. Birch Box is awful I had that for a while until I re woke up and realized that they were um, stealing my money Ipsy um, for my first time was really good I canceled Sephora I might as well cancel Ipsy and then go with a $20 I think like maybe BoxyCharm is 21 I can even do that the only reason why I say stay at 20 uh, dollars a month is that something that I can make at least every month with my eBay store the other ones um, My quarterly ones. It's like a game with me I wake up every day and I put things on eBay to sell it and when things sell I save my money And as soon as I have enough money for an expensive quarterly subscription box, I get it I don't mind investing $20 a month in a makeup one so I can build my makeup collection uh, And try new things. Let me know down below if uh, what's the best either um, makeup one for the month or is if I should try the tribe every other month uh, I'd like some insight on that so if you liked what I had to say today please press the like button and if you haven't already please press subscribe okay so you enjoy your day